A big thanks to my sponsors, Ibis Cycles, Camelback, PNW Components, Kitspo Cycling Apparel, Cali Protectives, Shimano, Fox, WTB, and Jensen USA. Any purchases at Jensen USA from the below links will directly help support my channel as well. I just made a couple of sweet changes on my Mojo 3, and before I do a full-on vlog episode, I wanna just try these changes out real quick on the trail before we talk about them in the studio. After rocking the aluminum WTB frequency I-25 wheels, I've got a good idea of how the Mojo 3 rides, but I'm real excited to get some carbon wide rims on here. I'm gonna run the Ibis 742 wheel set, which is a 35 millimeter inner width, and the rims are made out of carbon instead of aluminum. For the dry summer months, I was running a WTB Vigilante 23 in front and a WTB Riddler in the rear. Now, that was a great setup, but the front tire is super worn out, and the rear tire in these wetter conditions, uh, it's a little bit dicey. I'm gonna go to the same WTB Vigilante 2.3 in front, but I'm gonna go to a WTB Trail Boss 2.4 in the rear. This combo is a little bit of a tried and true favorite of mine, so I'm excited to put it on the Mojo 3 and see how it handles. Now, I've ridden this WTB 2324 traditional tire size setup quite a bit, and I'm pretty familiar with it. I wanna get a bit of a baseline feel for the bike, cause I got something new in the works, and I wanna understand how the bike rides with a known tire setup before I start trying something different. This setup of the Mojo 3 is by far the most fun it's been for me to date. Fresh update, new rubber from WTB. Let's get these things on the bike. For today's update, I'll be putting a Vigilante 2.6 on the front of the bike. On the rear of the bike, I'm gonna put on a new Trail Boss 2.6 tough casing rear tire. Maybe not immediately noticeable, but I did add a Shimano E through axle to the Mojo 3 so I could have a quick release for the rear wheel as well as I have for the front wheel. On my bikes, I like to use orange seal sealant. Let's see how this setup is gonna feel on the trail. First trail I wanna hit with this setup has some really slow and really technical rock slabs on it. Let's do it. The first thing I noticed with the 2.6 tires was climbing traction was way better than the older setup. As a result of this extra confidence, I wanted to try a few technical rock moves that I'd seen and always wanted to put some more time into putting together. It was super fun trying to clean some of these moves because the 27.5 wheels accelerate really quickly so with a small run-in, I could still get a surprising bit of speed. This combo of fast acceleration and surprisingly good traction it made for some cool lines in the rocks. Now, one thing I did have to keep in mind though, traction is still a little bit different than traction on a 29er. To me, it felt like the two six tires gave the Mojo 3 plenty of traction to stand up and try and pull these uphill moves out of the saddle. Now, one thing that surprised me quite a bit was that it still felt like my Ripmo 29er, while seated, has even more available traction. If my main goal was to clean really punchy tech climbs, I still think the Ripmo 29er will be the go-to bike and overall setup, but the Mojo 3 was pretty darn capable, and when it needed an extra burst of energy from out of the saddle sprinting, it was right there for the job. One thing that really surprised me about these wider tires is that they made skinnies a little bit easier. Most skinnies are fairly flat. However, these tires got me the confidence to try one in particular that I've been thinking about for quite a while. After rolling into the skinny a couple of times, the wind really started to pick up. And if there's anything you don't want when you're balancing, it's wind. I finally went ahead and gave it a try and made it across this fallen log without falling off, so I call that a win but I felt a lot more secure with those wide 2.6s than I would on my normal 2.3, 2.4 type setup. I don't know if it's true that a wider tire does support you better for a balancing type situation, but to me, it felt like I had a little bit more stability on that log. 
I got to try the same setup out in Colorado on some trails that are way different than what we ride around here. When I say different, the dirt is way rockier, way drier, and just the way the trails are built is very different in Colorado than here in the Pacific Northwest. The Moja 3 is a short travel bike, and to me, especially out in the rocks in Colorado, the big 2.6 size tires made it feel like it had more available traction. In a sense, the 2.6 size tires made the Mojo feel like a more competent all around bike. To see the 2.6 tires in action in Colorado, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.